Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a picture collage out of portrait and landscape pictures, how to crop them and to align them. So the first thing I want to do is change the orientation of this page. So I'm going to go up to layout, go to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. The next thing I'm going to do is reduce the size of my margins. So again, go to layout, margins, click on the drop down, and I'm going to select narrow. And as you can see here, my margin has got smaller. So I'm going to now go up to insert, go to pictures, click on the drop down. Now for this demonstration, I'm actually going to use the stock images that come free with Word but you'll probably want to be selecting pictures from your files. So if you click picture from file and then you can select any of the pictures you wish and then just click insert. So let's go to picture, stock images and I'm going to select this image here. This is a landscape and click insert. Now when a photo or image is inserted into your Word document, you can't move it. So if I try and move this around, it always just clicks back into the original position. So all you need to do is select it, right click, go down to wrap text, and then click in front of text. And you can now move your picture anywhere you want to in your document. Now because I want to make this a neat collage, I'm actually going to resize everything to a one by where square crop. Now you don't have to, you can simply just resize all your images and place them anywhere onto your page. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to crop them all square so they all line up beautifully at the end. So to do that, I select the picture, go to picture format, go along to the crop tool, click on the drop down and select crop aspect ratio one to one. And as you can see now, I can then choose where I crop this image. Now the crop tool is really handy because you can now see the image and you can move the cropping area to where exactly where you want it. You've also got these black markers around the outside that you can resize your image. But if you are going for a one by one crop, it's really important that not only do you use the corners here, but you also hit the shift key when you're resizing. If you don't hit the shift key, then it will no, no longer be a square. You'll have to go back and redo it again. But if you hit the shift key, you can see it always keeps that square ratio. So once I've got the image in the place I want, I just press enter, and then I can just go ahead and resize this image. Now the important thing is here for this particular demonstration is that all my images are exactly the same size. So the way in which I do that, is select my picture, go to picture format, and along to this section here, height and width. Now, preferably you want to pick something easy because you're going to have to put this in a few times for all of your images. So I'm simply going to select 6.5, press enter. If your tick box here is checked, it will automatically change the width as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to select another image. Let's go for this one. Again, right click, wrap text in front of text. Then I'm going to go up to the crop tool and select crop. Sorry, it's crop aspect ratio one to one. And then I'm just going to resize this a little bit, hold down that shift key. Right, if that happens, just go backwards, command or control Z, up to the crop tool and then go to one to one again. Click, hold the shift key and move that down and then move it to where you want that image in your square, press enter and then we can go straight up to the height and width here. All we need to do is go to the height or the width, put in 6.5, press enter and then we have another image exactly the same size. So again I'm going to do that one more time, let's do this donut, insert right click, wrap text in front of text, crop, aspect ratio, one to one. Let's just move this image across. 
we go. Press enter. Up to the top here, 6.5, enter. Now what I'm going to do is speed up the video, put in all of my images and then come back at the end and then we're going, I'm going to show you a great technique to make sure these are all lined up perfectly. Okay, so you can see my mom pictures don't quite fit the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this row up here, like this. And I'm just going to deal with this row here. So I'm going to select this image, hold down my command or control key, and select all four across the top. Go to picture format, along to align, and click on the drop down. The first thing we're going to do is distribute them equally across the page. So I'm going to select distribute horizontally and now they're equal distance apart. Then go to align, and then I'm going to align them to the top so they're all equally lined up at the top. Once I've done that, I'm going to group them together. So go to group, click on the drop down and select group. So now this is all one group. I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly the same with the second row, line, distribute horizontally, and then align to top and then group. Now what we do have to check is that ha they have been lined up the same. Now as you can see, there's an alignment that's slightly out here. So if that happens, go back to ungroup, deselect them all, and then just roughly move them to where these other ones are. Then reselect them all, and then go to align again distribute horizontally and then group uh, sorry and then we'll align to the top again and then we'll group them and then once again we'll just line them up to see if they are in alignment great then I'll go ahead and do that with the bottom but firstly I will actually just move them roughly into place so we get a relatively good alignment Again, align, distribute horizontally, align to top, and then group. And then again, let's just test out whether they are actually in line. Great. Now what we can do with the groups is we can align them the other way. So select all of the groups in the same way, holding down the command or control key, and now distribute vertically. Now you can see there's equal gaps between them and then we can then go align to left and now you can see they're all perfectly lined up to the left. Now we can group the whole thing then we can go align and then align to centre and that will ensure that all of our pictures are equally distributed. Now, if you do find that there are some that are slightly out, then you can select it, ungroup everything. And I've noticed that this one isn't quite in alignment. So I've kept this selection on, and I'm going to go back up to align and go to distribute horizontally again, see if anything changes. No. So I'm just going to zoom in. And let's just go down to this alignment here. And you can see it's just out here. So all I'm going to do is select this one and I'm going to use my arrow keys. And I'm just going to nudge that one. No, it's too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can align this one and this one together. So I've selected these two images, go to picture format, align, align to left. That's it, so that one now has lined up with this one here. And again, with this one, I'm going to align to right. That's great, that's now lined up with this one. 
and this one here I'm going to align to right, not quite lined up. No, that one didn't work. I've got to select this one as well, align to right, and then this one, and this one I think needs a line to the left. Great. Now I can see that those are all lined up. This one and this one aren't quite lined up, so again, sometimes this just take a little bit of nurturing just to make it perfect. Now don't forget you can do the groups this way if you want to. So if you want the three here and group these and then move them around you can. You can move the groups together as well. So if I was to group these three together and then these as well and make a group and then these as well You can then potentially move them closer together if you wanted to. There you go, you've got smaller lines between them. But don't forget you've got to select them all and make sure they're all lined up to the top as well. So align, align to top, then group them together again. So now they're one complete group and all you need to do is centre them to the page so go to align, align to center, align, align to middle. And now your pictures are perfectly lined up on your page. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.